In this session, we will look at the chart of accounts. I'll explain the chart of accounts and why it's important. We'll go over account types. I'll show you how to add, edit, and delete accounts and how to set up sub-accounts. We'll go over best practices when setting up the chart of accounts. And I'll leave you with an assignment so you can get your own company chart of accounts set up in QBO. You may be wondering, what's a chart of accounts and why do I need to use it? The chart of accounts is simply a list of accounts that you will use to classify transactions in QBO. Setting up the chart of accounts correctly is an essential part of setting up your own company in QBO. And just as a reminder, all transactions in QBO are assigned accounts from the chart of accounts. To get to the chart of accounts, select the gear icon and under settings, select chart of accounts. When you set up your company file in QBO for the first time, QBO will set up a list of accounts for you. It's not a complete list, but it has many of the accounts that you will use. Each account has an account name and an account type. The list of category types is pre-populated in QBO, and you cannot change it. Some account types that you will be working with are bank, credit card, income, cost of goods sold, and expenses. The account list is sorted first by type and then alphabetically within account types. Let me show you the expense section. Here you see that expenses are sorted alphabetically within the expense category type. Account types are important because they determine where the account balance will show up on financial reports such as the balance sheet and the profit and loss. Let me show you. Here's the balance sheet report. You can see the category type, such as bank, and the account set up within that category type, such as bank and savings accounts. Here's the profit and loss report. Here's the income category and the account set up under that category. Here's the expenses account category and the various expenses accounts. I scroll down to the Office Expenses account and I'd like to change the name to Office Supplies. I'll click on the account and then select Edit. And here I'll change the name to Office Supplies. And I'll select Save. Now I'll add a sub-account. If you notice, we have Travel and Travel Meals. I like to make travel meals a sub-account of the travel expense account. I'll click once on travel meals, click edit, and in this box where it says it's sub-account, click the box and find travel, select travel, and select save. And now you can see that Travel Meals is a sub-account of Travel. To delete an account that I'm not using, I can select that account, just click on it, and then select Delete. I'll answer Yes, and that account is deleted. Notice that if I select this box, Include Inactive, I will see the account that I deleted. Keep in mind that if you delete an account with activity, the activity is not deleted. The account name is merely removed from your account list. 